All right, welcome to the final section of chapter 11, 11.5. And there's one idea that's presented in here called expected value. And expected value is just what would be most likely to occur in a situation. And it takes into account every single outcome and its associated probability. And to find the expected value, let me get a pen working here. I'll call it EV. You simply take and add up. Remember that symbol means to add all of the outcomes times their associated probabilities. That would yield the expected value. And so the book addresses this in several different ways and the problems that I picked are all based in the homework. And so the first one that I saw that being asked in the one of the first questions being addressed in the homework was to fill out a chart and run the expected value. And what they looked at is the number of girls in a family who are to have four children. So if a couple was going to have four children, what are the expected number of girls? Now, what's your heart tell you? Your heart tells you right now that half of them should be girls. They should expect two because boys and girls are equally likely. That is going to work out in this, and I think that's why they chose this as the example. So as we go and do an expected value problem, you want to list out the outcomes that are possible. So when a couple has four children, there's a possibility that none of them are girls. That is an outcome, right? Or that they have one girl and only one girl, so the other three are boys. They could have two girls and two boys. They could have three girls and one boy, or they could have um, all four being girls and no boys. And then we would want to look at the associated probability. Now here's where it's going to tie into your old classes. They're not, or your old sections, they're not giving you the probabilities. They're wanting you to put those in. So if we want to know the probability that all four are girls, well the probability that the first one's a girl is one half. Second one a girl, one half. Third one's a girl, one half. Probability, I apologize, that none are girls, right? Let me let me handle this one at a time. So if we were to do this one, I want the probability of no girls. Well, we can handle it like we did in the last section. That would work for all of these. Out of the four children, I don't want any to be girls. The probability that you're a girl is one half. I need that to happen no times and I need the boys to happen all four times. So let me um, come in here for a minute and put this other one in red. The red represents what we don't want and we want no girls and that means the other one that we're focused on boys we want all four to be boys. So if we run that in our calculator and we we would get point we would get 0 0.0625 and they may actually be doing it actually I think they are wanting you to write it as a fraction so this would be one half to the fourth which would be 1 16th yeah which would be 1 16th out of there so the probability is 1 16th probability of one girl that C of 4 1 one half to the one, one half to the third. C of four, one is four, so this is four. And then we're going to get the same one sixteenth out. Notice we have four one halves being multiplied together. So that's one fourth. C of four, two, right, for the probability of two girls. And let me just come in here and erase because you can back up and look if you need to. That's the nice part about doing a video. And so they're, at, they're asking for you to fill out these charts. It's going to be a little bit time consuming, but it, they're, they're hoping that it can be a nice review and instructive um, process. Probability of two girls. So out of the four, I want two to be girls. Um, probability that we're a girl is one half. That needs to happen twice. The other one half needs to happen four times. That boys. Let's see what C of four two is. It's six. So this is six times.
times uh, 1 16th again. And if I reduce that, what's that quirk out to be? Uh, take out a 2, 3 8 coming out of that. 3, probability of 3 being girls. C of 4, 3. 1 half to the 3rd. 1 half to the 1st. So nice review over the last section stuff right in the very beginning. So C of 4, 3 is going to be 4. And then we're going to have 4 times 1 half, I'm oh, sorry, 1 16th again, right? 1 half to the 4th. And if that's the case, we're getting a nice 1 quarter again. And the 4 is going to be a nice 1 16th again. So now we got to add these, all, well, we got to do our x times p of x's. So if we're going to find the expected value, our next job is to take the x times the p of x. So you're going to have this work in order to fill out the chart. You're doing lots of side work. Now we're getting to this section stuff. And as we go and do this section stuff, we're going to have, they're going to tell us to do x times p of x. Now why? Because we have to add that up. So 0 times 1 16th, 0. 1 times 1 quarter, 1 quarter. 2 times 3 eighths, 6 eighths, right? 6 eighths, but that's 3 quarters. Okay. 3 times 1 fourth, 3 fourths. 4 times 1 sixteenth, 1 fourth. And so what do we get out of this? We get 1 fourth, 4 fourths, 7 fourths, 8 fourths. So as we take the sum of our x times the p of x, what are we getting? We're going to get the expected number of girls. Right? The expected value. So what is that? That's 1 fourth, 3 fourths, another 3 fourths, and another 1 fourth. 3, 6, 7, 8, that's 8 fourths. And it's not surprising to come out to be 2. Now you can say to yourself, well, why do we do all of that if we knew the answer was just going to be 2? And the reason why you did all of that was because um, we wanted to have a problem that you could wrap your brain around that the answer made a complete sense to you. Yeah, of course, we, if boys and girls are equally likely, we would expect two girls. And so that's exactly what expected value should do. So what happens after this is they're going to give us some games. Some games to look at in order to answer the expected winnings, the expected payoff of a game, is the game fair? Lots of different games coming up here in which they're going to ask us that. And so what I think I'll do is break this into different segments. So there's your first introduction, and then we'll go into the 